guys welcome back to another week in my life in new york city this one is glow up with me edition totally inspired by julia haven's video she did a glow up with me um she's pregnant right now so a little bit different but same kind of idea she went and got her nails done her hair just kind of one of those weeks um and i noticed that's kind of what my week is ahead of me i'm going to miami on thursday purely for fun a girl's trip with my friends kelly seven cast and i could not be more excited so it's miami you know like we literally planned this trip probably five six months ago and it's finally here and i've been planning my outfits for literally months and i want to look good i want to feel good all the things i just got back from pilates um do another workout tomorrow on wednesday so that feels good oh my gosh i must just spilled coffee on my white couch i just rewarded myself with a cafe con leche from i think coffee it's literally my new favorite thing mm. Anywho, um, we're gonna start the appointments. I have all kinds of appointments this week, and it's just a little week in my life vlog, you know, a little bit of sprinkle here and there. Um, pack with me, prepping, all the things. Just glow up with me for vacation. Hopefully it's a glow up, we'll see. So today's appointment, I just got back from Pilates, so I'm gonna shower, and then we're gonna head over to a nail salon and get a pedicure. I'm like really nervous to get this pedicure though, because on New Year's Eve, or like New Year's weekend, I don't remember, when we were at the cabin in the Catskills, I fully was sober, I got was getting out of the hot tub, or no, I was coming, I had gone outside to cool off from the hot tub, and then I was getting really cold outside, so I like ran in, and I tripped over the door jam, because the floor was slippery from the water, and I stubbed my toe, whatever, jammed my toe, it's, the nail is now black, and it's, um, gross, my dad told me it's probably gonna fall off, so like and the nail polish came off it doesn't hurt at all this is like all tmi but i'm just like nervous to go there and they're gonna be like what do you want us to do with this but i'm literally be like it doesn't hurt i just need like to be, have it painted over i just need a new pedicure so yeah um i need to think of what color to do i usually like a nice light pink because it looks good when you're like tan so i'm gonna get a spray tan this week too we'll see Na manicure i actually had scheduled this week but I have too many other appointments I want to do. And I, I think my nails still look pretty good, especially when you do tips like this. Um, I did a French manicure, but I got chrome powder on top, like a pearly finish, and it's so pretty. So when you do tips, the grow out looks better, I think. Um, and the next time I do my nails, I want to get them maybe like some bright pink colors for the Gals on the Go live shows. If you guys don't know, we're going on tour. Um, Atlanta for two nights, Tampa and Orlando. Atlanta sold out, but I think Tampa and Orlando still have tickets, so I will have those links down below. February 15th is Orlando, February 16th is Tampa. I'm so excited. So yeah, it kind of works out to push it back week because I would ideally like to get like some bright pink nails. And not that you can't have bright pink nails in Miami, but I like these nails for Miami. So anyways, let's shower and let the glow up begin. <laughs> Okay, we're headed to the nail salon. Here's my little nail salon OOTD. Um, oh, outfit of the morning, really, OOTM. Um, this set is from Free People. I just got it in this beige color because I loved it so much. I have it in like a gray color as well. And I'm just wearing Uggs so I can slip them off. I always do gel on my toes. I feel like you guys know this about me by now, but I'm such a nostalgic person. So when I first got my car, my Volvo, which I've now sold, which I'm really sad about, Someone gave me the Sam Smith CD when I first got my car and so I put it in and I would just listen to this exact album the in the lonely hour album Like every day on my way to school because it was early and it was just like the perfect like tune So I've been listening to it this morning because it's like a rainy chilly morning in the city and it is hitting diff So if you used to listen to that album when it first came out highly suggest because it kind of brings you back to that mind space like I love taking songs and bringing them with me and like having those feelings and it's just good stuff so yeah okay we're going to the nail salon now I'm getting my tote we're going posies are done they're so cute we are now about to get ready Brooke's coming over in like an hour and a half and we're recording this week's episode of gals on the go it's my podcast with my best friend Brooke it's so fun new episodes every Wednesday this week we're doing an episode all about feeling lonely not being included in things, just kind of all the things, like FOMO, post-grad, while you're in college, um, just all of it. It's inspired by my recent just, like, feelings um, and stuff that I've experienced in different chapters of my life and then, like, gotten through it and all the things. So I'm really looking forward to filming this episode. Um, and I haven't seen Brooke in a minute, so it's always fun for us to catch up. Um, and I always try to, like, gouache on my face before, like, going on camera because... <laughs> 
I don't know. I just feel better. So I'm about to do my makeup. And my pedicure was lovely. I got like an extra massage and callus remover. I was feeling it. But the one thing is, I was like trying to do a ton of stuff for the gals on the go tour. We're going to Tampa and Orlando and Atlanta. Atlanta sold out. I already said this, but like I'm so excited. Um, tickets down below. It's literally such a fun night. We share unheard stories, secrets, lots of interaction with the audience. We have meet and greet tickets still available if you want to meet Brick and I. It'd be a fun time. Um, so I was like doing stuff for that on my phone. And then I was like, wait. Let me chill and relax during this massage. So, yeah, that's that. Gonna get ready. I think we're just wearing like chill vibes today. Filming on the couch. I got some new lighting that I want to try out. Instead of a ring light, I got like two separate lights. So we're gonna see. Makeup check. I'm like, I went hard because I'm just noticing I get so washed out on camera. I've been talking about this and I just did like all powder products and I think it just looks so good in person. It kind of looks like a little intense, but I just know it's going to look good on camera. So love that. Don't think I'm going to wear this for the podcast. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I think Brooke's wearing like a sweater and leggings. So similar vibe. Also, I got a new camera. It's very similar to my old camera. It's, I had the Canon M50. This is the Canon M6. I use the same lens. It's the EF 11-22 Canon lens. It's like the wide angle. But that camera was five, six years old and it was getting really glitchy and weird and some of you guys were like, maybe it's time for a new camera and I was like, okay, I hear you. So, but I love the wide angle lens, I love the quality and I think this quality is a little bit sharper. Comment down below what you guys think, if we agree or if that was a waste of money. But I, I'm so, so far, I'm so happy with it. Brooks here. We're attempting to do three cameras again. Got yeah. some new lighting, playing around. You know, we're just figuring out as we go. We don't have a producer. Oh, well, we do have a producer, but he lives in LA, so. Yeah, we're our own um, tech support uh, yep. setup. It looks up. cozy. Yeah. Next week we'll film at Brooks. We just switch it off. And it's been really fun so far recording in our apartments and yeah, a lot everyone of likes like it. Rent out studios and stuff too, which like the places like take care of all of this. But it's, I feel like it's worth it to do it ourselves. Yeah, it's like when we started YouTube and like yeah, tried to yeah, learn it all. Exactly. So we're gonna record about feeling alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See ya. Wow. All right, Brooke just left. It was a fabulous podcast. You guys, it will already be up by the time you guys are watching this. Just made myself a little lunch. Um, cauliflower thins with turkey tomato and microgreens with the sub sauce I make. It's such a good lunch. It's so filling and it's really delicious. It's starting to get dark outside. I just washed my face, took all my makeup off, changed into this sweat set from 7 Days Active. My brother just called me, which was very sweet. We talked on the phone for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go to Equinox. We're gonna do the steam room. I just wanna like sweat it out and then go to the grocery store and grab some stuff for dinner because I think Ryan's coming here for dinner. Or he's coming after. I don't know. Either way, I need to make dinner for myself. I'm obsessed with couscous right now, so I'm going to make some couscous. And I still, I have chicken breast, but I don't have like a veggie. So I want to get rid of that. Yeah, having a little self-care week on the steam room. Love that. grocery haul. I got two of the Cedars roasted red pepper hummus. This has been my favorite roasted red pepper hummus so far. I got two of them because I've been cutting up cucumber. Also, I got these from Amazon. They help keep your like cut vegetables really fresh. And I have another cucumber to cut up and dipping it and it's literally so good. Um, oh my gosh. Why am I? Oh my gosh. I literally meant to grab the organic one, whatever, that's fine. I just like remember purposely grabbing for it, whatever. Uh, half and half for my coffee, some eggs, green beans will be the vegetable for tonight, and then I just got a little, little four pack of topa, you know, for me and the boys. <laughs> um, but yeah, this will be dinner tonight. I have 
green beans, chicken breast, and then we've got couscous, in particular pearled couscous because it's so freaking tasty, I can't get enough of it. So, yeah. I also found this podcast on my walk back called the Health Anxiety Podcast. It ha It's a very small podcast he hasn't posted since last September, but there's like a ton of episodes and he's giving you like, you know, ways to kind of realize it, assess it, deal with it. Like, I don't know, it's really interesting. So for some reason I love wearing over the ear headphones at times because it's kind of like a warm hug. It's very comforting, really random. The steam room was amazing. This girl came in and wore, she was wearing like a mud mask, like a mask of some sort. And, I, and she, I, she walked in and I was like, that's genius. And she's like, yeah, it's like my little self care thing. Like you're in the steam room, might as well get like the facial benefits too, so. Dinner is done. I've never, my mom has, but I've never personally cooked chicken in the oven. Actually, I have when I've made chicken parm, but that's it. And it's just a lot easier. And I always find that it's juicier if it's like cooked in the oven. So just got out of the oven now. I made, I added salt and pepper and garlic on top. We'll see how the garlic did. I don't know. And I did onion powder. Pearled couscous, you guys know. And then green beans. I've got Frank Sinatra going. Just paused it to film this little clip. Ryan's here. What's up, everybody? What's up? And we're about to eat, yay! It's 10.30, Ryan just left. I'm honestly pretty tired. So I'm just gonna get in bed now and start reading and then eventually fall asleep because I have a workout in the morning. Instead of being like, oh, well, I could stay up a little bit longer and watch TV. Like, I'm tired. Let me just get in bed now. I'll see you guys in the morning. The first one is related to what's called math. And I love math. Ready? You guys ready? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's, well, now it's, well, it's 11. It's still the morning. Feeling very, very relaxed. Very just, just really good right now. I went to a class at Equinox this morning with some of my friends. It was called Off the Bar. So it was kind of like a bar class, just, you know, not with the bar. Um, but we used little weights. It was like lots of little movements, very similar to a bar class. And it was really nice. And then after I got in the steam room, because I'm trying to get my spray tan off, and I just love the steam room, because um, I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow, so I just need to like get it all off. And the steam room felt so good. Like obviously, love a good sweat. I showered there. I just got some flowers in the mail from Urban Stems. They did a collaboration with Bridgerton. These are so so gorgeous. Um, and it comes with a little vase too. Do you guys say vase or vase? Like, I don't, I definitely say vase, but sometimes I want to say vase, you know, like the vase. I think it's a time and place. I mean, they probably say vase in Bridgerton, right? But yeah, just putting these flowers in. Today's beauty appointment, if you will. Actually, we have a couple. My first beauty appointment of the day, we're going to get my 
lash lift and tint, which I get, I think it's every two months, question mark. I like don't even remember the last time I got one. I'm like in need. Oh, look how gorgeous. But yeah, my lashes are still, I mean, my lashes are naturally really long, which is nice, but I like to get them lifted so it like literally looks like you have mascara on, especially since going to Miami this weekend. I'm, I don't want to like wear mascara by the pool, nor would I ever, but it's nice when your lashes are all lifted and tinted. And then while I'm there, I didn't know this, but the girl that does my lashes, her name is Michelle Beauty by Mishy Lee, M-I-S-H-Y-L-E-E. -E. She does dermaplaning and she'll do it on her clients like while they're getting their lashes, like, cause it takes like, you know, 30 minutes for the lift to do and then th another 30 minutes for the tint. So while that's happening, she dermaplanes her clients, like for an added fee, obviously, but that's an option she provides. And I had no idea, and I, I, I have like the tinkle, you know, facial razors, the Skinny Confidential one, I do that sometimes, but it would be really nice to have someone professionally dermaplane my face. Basically dermaplaning is very gentle, it doesn't hurt at all, it's just like this light razor along your skin, and it, you know, gets dead skin, but also it gets like all the peach fuzz, which is really nice, and your skin is just ready for makeup, and <laughs> it's really nice, so I'm excited. Um, for that so that's in a little under an hour I think I might go a little crazy and read because I I have like some time actually no I can't do that I have to do something else but maybe I'll read I don't really know but yeah guys no joke as soon as I stopped recording I got a knock on the door from nest fragrances they literally came with their PR team and delivered this to me obsessed it's their new matcha and lime zest scent they already like had it going on this beautiful tray i'm so excited because now i have this tray we've got some lime zest tea cake date balls and matcha zest um strawberries and they literally made me matcha and i got this cup like this is some prime pr right here you guys and i already dug into it as you can see this is from their wellness collection which i'm obsessed with and this is the lime and zest matcha candle. Oh, what's this? Some bala bangles or ooh, something. Some, ooh, some green bala bangles. Oh, there's more. <gasps> Shut up. This Dagny Dover, like, I'm assuming it's like a, you know, over the chest bag. More candles. And they sent me, if I want to start making matcha now, this is cool. Little matcha making bowl. I mean, come on, that's amazing. Thank you, Nest, wow. All right, I also bought a ginger shot at um, Pliables. It has orange, ginger, lemon, Himalayan salt, and oregano. Oregano sometimes does me dirty and like really tastes weird, so we're just gonna see. Okay, it smells pretty good, and there's orange in it too. Cheers! <laughs> I feel like that is meant to take in two sips. I had to spit a little bit out so I could literally swallow it. That is what she said, sorry. Anywho, let's go get these lashes done. They're gonna be a little bit darker, a little bit more lifted, and I'm gonna get some dermaplane and we started. been doing some packing putting things aside I've like had a pile of things that I want to bring to Miami um, but now I'm kind of just seeing it all out I took some things out I was like I'm not gonna wear this why would I even bring it sometimes I like to bring things as insurance and I'm definitely bringing more than I'm gonna wear anyways but I just had too much and this just feels right I'm bringing we are, we're going to three different dinners so three different dinner outfits and then like two day ish outfits but like plan to be by the pool the whole time many bathing suits because you never know you might go in the pool twice change you know you never know lots of cover-ups fun cover-ups i'm just so ready to be in miami and be by a pool so i'm just eating that up um lots of sunglasses because the sun my favorite hat to tan with this anine bang um beach bag that will be my beach bag this week i'm very excited and then i'm probably gonna bring 
a couple more things in this section. I'm packing my pair of like my favorite baggy jeans and a Ning Bing, like just black tank and then another like white tee probably just for like in case we're like running somewhere. I don't know, whatever. And then I'm gonna bring like one or two workout outfits. I don't see myself working out, but if I feel like it, I will. Or just for like going for a walk or going to get coffee, whatever. Also, we'll duel as like airplane outfit on the way back. So yeah, I'm packing now. I just need to kind of look at everything. I totally made a Google slide. I have a Google doc of, or Google slides of all these outfits here and like what shoes I'm wearing with what bags because I'm crazy, but it makes me happy and I enjoy it. So I'm gonna go look at that and see what shoes I need to pull. And then I'm just gonna start packing my luggage, which by the way, these are still for sale. Gals in the go luggage tag. Literally makes me so happy on galsinthegopodcast.com. Click on shop. And yeah, so I'll do, it's Monday and we're leaving Thursday, but I have a really busy, no, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday and we're leaving Thursday morning, like 4 a.m. So tomorrow's my only day, other day to pack and I have a very busy day tomorrow. So we're going to do this now. But yeah, I'm going to go get the shoes and the bags and start putting things in my suitcase. All right, beauty appointment number two of the day. We are going to the dry bar. Um, I'm getting a blowout today because I have a business dinner tonight and then tomorrow I have another dinner and then I thought it would be good because my hair, my blowouts, I mean the hair that I've had, well it's been gross the last two days, but because I got in the steam room, I've had since last Thursday, I got a blowout last Thursday and it's just been lasting so I thought it would be nice to get a blowout today for all these things and then I'll have it in Miami and then like Friday or something I can wash my hair again. So. Just thinking. And then we have a day full of appointments tomorrow. I've never done this many appointments ever in a week, but it's kind of fun. Um, and in a way, it's kind of prepping for Gals on the Go live shows as well, because we're going on tour. So I'm just kind of getting it all out of the way. Now, my lash lift and tint is so good. And she, like I said, she dermaplaned. I don't know if you guys can tell in this lighting. My skin is so soft. It's like glowing now, it's super bright. It feels so good. I can't wait to put makeup on later because I feel like it's just going to apply like butter. So I'm just going to do that every time I go get my lashes done by her. While the lashes were processing, she was just dermaplaning and it felt so good. It was so relaxing. So feels good to do these fun appointments. <laughs> okay, dry bar was fabulous. I get the straight up and I ask for flipped up, flipped out ends. I like it for now. It's kind of giving like retro but i just i just love it like every time i just get so many compliments it's fun whatever wearing my anthropology bottega looking earrings this dress it's so good it's from nakd it's cold outside so i wore some sheer tights underneath and then these franco sarto boots i've worn pretty much this exact outfit before but with different boots you can literally see i hate how the tights they go so low so you can see that i had this belt on but i didn't know if i it was kind of giving like my Gucci belt days. Not not this belt, like I love this belt, but I don't know, it just gave that energy with this outfit. But also it might pull it all together. But with my coat on over top, it looked weird. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna do no belt. It'll be more comfortable when I sit anyways. Anywho. Going to a restaurant called Da Toscano. It's Italian, I believe, which I'm always very happy about. Dinner tonight is a little business dinner, and some of my favorite people are going, so I'm really happy about that. It's me, Brooke, Katie, and Colby, and Margo Lee. I think she's coming now, too. So, very pumped about that. Added this coat from Mango, and then we're gonna do my Chanel flat bag here. And then after dinner, actually, my agent's in town, and so are Alicia and Remy, and I think we're gonna all meet for drinks after. I'm not really in a drinking mood, but maybe that'll change. <laughs> um, or I'll just have like a sparkling water, I'm really sure. I just wanna like see them so bad, um, and I'm trying to pack it all in before I go to Miami, so if it works out, hopefully. We did, well, we made a reservation at Happiest Hour in the West Village, so, I mean, I'm definitely seeing my agent. I just don't know if Alicia and Remy are coming. So, I'm so excited to see him regardless. And Brooke's coming with me to that. So, we're just going to go have a, have a night. A Tuesday night. Like in college when Tuesday nights are like fun. Whoa. Oh my God,
everybody. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why I can't watch TV in the morning because I, Ginny and George is getting so good now. I'm on episode nine out of 10 and I literally am so late for my workout. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday today. It's gonna be a really good day. I'm feeling really good about the day other than the fact that I'm gonna be late for my workout. All right, we're gonna do this aloe set. Today's workout is with my trainer, Jane. I work out with her every Wednesday. Um, I was doing a lot of computer work this morning, also why I got distracted, because I am I'm just gonna put on my pants while I'm talking to you guys. Wednesdays are always a big day because we upload Gals and Go podcast, and I upload a video, as you guys know. And so um, we had a couple things that, put on my pants, we had to fix. <clears throat> So I was just doing that all this morning and trying to watch Ginny and George at the same time because it's getting so good. I heart New York, baby. Today's another day full of appointments. Um, very excited about it too. Then Miami tomorrow. I just got the notification to check in for my flight. I'm so excited. Okay, gotta go. Here is the set. It literally looks black in here, but it's green. It's from Aloe. Very flattering. I need to find the name of these leggings because I want more of them. Very cute. I just got so tired. Like, walking into the gym. I literally had to call an Uber to the gym because I didn't have enough time to walk and now I'm so tired. It's okay. <sighs> Alright guys, showered, put on this fun sweat set that says Cowgirl. It's from Motel Rocks a couple years ago. More beauty appointments. We're going to get a wax. European Wax Center, they crush it every time. Never looking forward to it whenever I'm leaving. I'm like, wow, I feel so clean, so fresh, so happy. Might see if they can just wax my brows while I'm in there too, we'll see. From there, we're going to the talks um, and I'm getting a uh, lymphatic facial massage. Very excited about that. Just draining the face, like sculpting, it'll feel good. And then we're gonna come back and I have a spray tan later, so. Oh, how I love being a woman. I am back from all of my appointments. I don't know if my face looks any more sculpted than it did. I think, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I like face gym a little bit better than the talks. I just wanted to try it out. They had availability. And I don't know, I feel like at face gym, they like really get after it with like the facial massage. And she definitely drained my lymphatic or whatever it's called like she really focused right here and then brought it down like a lot of neck massage and then but then she like put a mask on my face for like 10 minutes and left me there and i was like i didn't i don't want a facial facial i just i want you to massage my face and make it you know de puff so i don't know it was definitely very relaxing and she massaged my arms while the mask was on at one point which was nice um, but I'm just being honest. I don't think it's worth the money, but I wanted to try it and it was very relaxing I've never done like the body lymphatic massage. I heard it definitely like works um, But I just don't know if they've got the face Sculpting massage down. I think face gym does a great job um, But yeah, so Yeah I've been chilling on the couch for a little bit now, watching Ginny and George. I'm on episode 10, which I know means it's over. I'm for sure gonna finish today, obviously. Also, I'm vibing with this tray I got yesterday from Nest. I have been burning this candle, so I'm gonna finish this one out. But like, look how cute it looks on my counter because I'm always putting things on this counter and like usually a pile like that. And I feel like the tray makes it look like it has a home. So I'm really happy about that. I'm turning on the lights here because I'm about to get a spray tan. Um, I use the mobile tanning services. So they come and put a tent in and I get in and it's really nice, especially on a rainy day like today. So I don't have to walk back or do anything. Very nice, very convenient, a little bit more expensive, but worth it. So I usually have them go right here because they can plug in their machine. I'm just brightening it up a little bit in here because she's going to be here soon and she's going to be like you're in a dungeon right now <laughs> um was also doing a little bit more packing i'm so excited to go to miami bringing two pairs of pajamas like these are a set and this is like a uh, pajama shirt bringing this black like romper situation bringing this white linen button down as like a cover-up or i could wear it over the the romper, whatever and then one like workout set so i'm just putting these things aside 
And then I'll probably bring a jacket of some sort because it's in the like 70s. I'm sure it'll be chilly in the morning. So I need to figure that out. Probably just like whatever I wear on the airplane. Spray tan is done. I just walked around my apartment naked for like 30 minutes talking on the phone with people and finally just put my sweat set back on. Love being tan. It just hits different. Your teeth look whiter. The air just smells better. Everything. I'm just kidding. Um, it was funny. Kelly FaceTimed me while, or like right after my spray tan and uh, the girl that was doing my spray tan is literally going to Kelly next week. So, or next week, tonight, like right after this. So I was like, tag, you're it. Spray tan time. So, oh, I'm so excited for this trip. I just like can't wait to just be on vacation, you know? Like, because everyone I'm telling about this trip is like, oh, it's like an influence trip, like it's work thing, whatever. And those are really fun. But no, this is literally like we're just gonna sit by a pool. I'm just so thankful. Ugh, blessed. But yeah, and found out like my friend Bridget and Kit are also going to Miami this weekend. So that's really exciting. Anywho, pretty much finished packing my suitcase now, like packing, like going through my toiletries and stuff, so my makeup bag, packing some eye patches. I have to put my eye cream in a bag because it exploded last time, take my Dyson Airwrap out of there, but yeah, I got my makeup and then my like travel toiletry bag that I kind of have to curate because it kind of just depends on each trip what I bring, like... For example, we're going to a sunny place. So I'm gonna bring my glow screen, all the things. But yeah, officially all of my beauty appointments are done. Thanks for glowing up with me. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys very soon on next Wednesday for my next video. Bye.